Well, I guess there's going to be in the video, too. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, first thing first, uh, something I got to inform you about here. I don't know if anyone noticed this or not that has a YouTube channel here. But I got a email from YouTube a couple days ago. Let me know that I am no longer eligible for monetization. Because my subscriber count is to like two something right now. I need at least a thousand plus about four thousand views, something like that. Um yeah, I mean it's I mean, granted I wasn't really making a lot of money from the monetization. I was having like thirteen cents and shit, so it's not like I was raking in the fucking no. But I don't know. I think it's a little shitty. It's like, you know, the it sounds like you're kinda like making it harder. I know they're changing things around on YouTube. It's affecting like the big YouTubers, but which is why Patreon's become a big thing with everybody now, apparently. Including myself. Um, more on that later. Uh but yeah, I mean it seems a little shitty. A little petty, you know, but Yeah. Yeah, so there we have it. It was like no, I cannot, I can't monetize these videos anymore. At least not until I get a thousand subscribers. So I need 800 more people. I mean, monetization or not, I would like to get over a thousand subscribers. Um, I may do some sort of weird giveaway or something once I figure out how to do that. Um, if everybody helps get me more subscribers. Trying to figure out how to do that. Um, any ideas? You know, let me know. Also, share my videos. You know, share my channel. Little update vlog. Um, I intend on doing, like, start doing these semi regularly at least the uh, vlog things. Just kind of keep you up to date on things. So, cause I mean, I don't, I haven't really done a lot of vlogs lately until recently, the past couple times, and I figured. You know, I can do like a semi-update thing, let you know what's going on, everything. Channel updates, life updates, shit like that. Um, <coughs> right now, so I'm, I haven't like uploaded any videos in the past like week and a half, two weeks, well, almost two weeks. Um, just between being busy, also, um, nephew has been over a lot. There was a few couple nights my nephew was over here, so I really couldn't do anything since the studio is kind of the shared living room at the moment. Um, so between that, uh, in-laws are actually, uh, doing a bit of remodeling in their kitchen, so, also there's been that, so I haven't been able to because they've been busy with that, uh, had the show last weekend, and, you know, besides being busy with work and stuff, um, quite frankly, uh, fun fact, uh, I am also deal with, deal with some pretty bad depression, some of you know this, that know me, and some of you may not know. So we may not give a shit to like, oh, whatever. I mean, if you're watching this, apparently you do give a shit because you want to sit down and watch this. So, um, but yeah, um, usually, I mean, around the holidays, around Christmas time, everything, my depression gets really bad. But usually, around about New Year's and everything, it kind of dissipates and. I love a lot a little bit, and I started doing that, but the depression hasn't gone away like it usually has. I mean, I get bouts of it anyway. I mean, it happens, but I don't know. Lately, it's been feeling a little worse. I mean, it's gone to some levels that I'm not used to, you know? Um, 
example, uh, uh, last week when we played a show and everything, I mean, there were some things that were, you know, there were some problems. We had like a fill-in drummer, and he wasn't great. You know, I mean, maybe that helped kind of kill the mood a little bit for me, maybe. But even still, I mean, honestly, I've played worse shows, you know, and been okay after that. But it's like after our set was done and everything, I was just in this really weird place. You know, I stuck around, you know, number one, because my ride was there watching everything and sort of obligation you're playing I want to support everybody else too and really all the other bands that played with that night were fucking awesome you know it was an Iggy Pop tribute band they were really good you know they played they played the good shit you know I mean dude was running around on the bar and everything it was fucking awesome you know and Children October and Black Cat Attack they were fucking amazing. I mean, Children October is always amazing anyway, but, you know, Black Cat Attack was like, fucking killer. I mean, it was a good night. It was actually a good turnout, you know. Everything went really good, but I was, could not get out of this headspace. I was feeling pretty kind of antisocial. I was feeling a little distant. I was feeling, I can't really explain it. It's a weird funk. You know, it's like, and that, honestly, that has never happened at a show before. I've been playing shows for, for oh, I was going to say over 10 years, but it's definitely over 10 years, more than that, because I started playing shows in about, around about 2002, so, I've been playing shows for about 15 years. I've been doing this shit for 15 years. Wow, I've been doing this shit for 15 years. I've been playing it for a long I've been doing this for a long time. I mean, like I said, the show's been a little weird here and there, but, you know, I've never been like that at a show before. Never. You know? <coughs> so that was weird. And then day uh was out grocery shopping uh with my spouse Dr. Bitchcraft and everything and I don't know what happened I guess I have you know Susie was saying um it was probably like a disassociative episode I've n I think I've had those but not like that this was this was new today you know, it's just like kind of like you're in like a weird haze. I almost didn't know where I was at. You know, everything seemed amplified. I mean, the place was crowded, and I'm I don't like crowds, but I can deal with them. You know, but today was a lot harder. It was like really I wasn't able to deal with that. You know, between that and noises and everything, it really was weird. I'm not used to that. This is, I mean, I'm used to certain levels of the depression and anxiety and everything, but, you know, I'll, I can always function through it, though. It's like, while I deal with that, I don't deal with it as bad as other people have to deal with it, so I'm able to do a little bit more. But this, yeah, this was this was a whole different ball game. So I'm not sure what's going with that. Um, I'm hoping this is not going to be a regular thing. Honestly, we'll see. But yeah, skipping that. But yeah, those why, you know, some videos are going to be a little bit late. Like, after this video, um, I'm going to be working on a reaction video. Um, after that, I'll probably try to 
get another Hollywood Tales video done here in the next few couple days. Uh, may live stream some stuff from practice tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to do it on Facebook or YouTube or both. You know, I have all these options for live streaming, you know. Because <laughs> I got the Instagram, I got YouTube, you know. Did I just say the Instagram? Yeah, you want to check out myself or check me on the Instagrams and the Facebooks, yeah. I'm going to do some catching up, like I said, doing a video. I'm going to do some um, reaction video later. Oh, while we're here. Also, um, I know I mentioned in a previous video, but it went live. We do now have a Patreon, or I have rather a Patreon. And my Patreon is, you know, both for the band and also for the web shows and everything. Um, I will put the info here in the video, or actually I'll put it in the description below. Um, but my Patreon is going to be doing a lot of stuff. I got some exclusive tracks on it right now. Uh, we got some new stuff going on. Uh, there's like two tracks. Uh, they're live tracks, but you know they sound really good. And um, one is a cover song, which is a Gary Newman song down in a park. The other is another new song. Um, we're gonna also we're gonna start doing some recording as well. So, but um, with the chant with this um. Patreon uh, tend to doing a lot of exclusive content. I uh, I don't have it adults only yet, but I'm half gonna have to switch it adults only because uh, planning on doing uh, not safe for work reaction videos. Uh, the ones I'll be doing, and then the ones I'll be doing with uh, Susie, Doctor Bitchcraft. Um, stuff you can't put on YouTube, but we can put on there. But it's gonna be exclusive on there, so. You may want to check it out. Like I said, I'm going to put the address below. Um, also, selling merch now. Well, we've got a new merch store we're working with, and that's working out a lot better. So, check that out. I'll put that link in the below, too. I'll uh, be uploading videos as often as possible. Not, I'm not going to say every week yet, because we're trying to get that leveled out right now. But, uh, best thing you can do when you hit subscribe make sure to get that notification bell so you can get updates whenever I upload a new video um, also help share this page we're trying to build up our subscriber count here anyway guys thank you for watching and stay tuned for a new reaction video and we'll see you later